Abba Poman the Great, Greek, Ho Hagios Poimen, Poimen means shepherd. C. 340-450 was an Egyptian monk and early desert father who is the most quoted Abba father in the Apothemata Patrum sayings of the Desert Fathers. Abba Poman was quoted most often for his gift as a spiritual guide, reflected in the name Poman, shepherd, rather than for asceticism. He is considered a saint in Eastern Christianity. His feast day is August 27th in Julian calendar, September 9th in Gregorian calendar. Topic. Biography Abba Poman lived at a monastery in Cetus, one of the first centers of early Christian monasticism. In 407 AD the monastery was overrun by raiders, scattering the monks. Abba Poman and Abba Anub, along with a handful of monks, fled to Taranuthis, on the river Nile. After leaving Cetus, Abba Poman and his group first lived in an abandoned pagan temple. The various raids on Cetus were a turning point in desert monasticism. The ensuing diaspora resulted in Abba Poman and his group keeping alive the collective wisdom of the monks of Cetus by creating the bulk of the Apothemata Patrum sayings of the Desert Fathers. Abba Poman's personality was described as that of a wise shepherd more than a desert ascetic. He was known for his tolerance of the weakness of others. One apocryphal story recounts that some of the older monks approached Abba Poman for his advice on how to treat monks who fell asleep during their prayers. They were inclined to wake the sleeping monk, while Abba Poman took a more compassionate approach, advising, For my part, when I have seen a brother who is dozing, I put his head on my knees and let him rest. Abba Poman was typically opposed to giving harsh penances to those who slipped spiritually. When a monk came to him who had committed a great sin, Abba Poman reduced his penance from three years to three days, another story, though also used in support of Poman's tendency to refrain from judgment, may show a dragging underbelly of the early monastic movement. The story tells of a brother monk with a wife Harmless cites a source claiming her to be a mistress, but the systematic collection uses the Greek word for woman, wife, who had a child, perhaps unclear who the father was. Abba Poman sent him a bottle of wine as a gift, to celebrate, and the brother was so conscious-stricken that he later dismissed the woman and became a monk. Abba Poman was also described as a charismatic speaker who still taught more by example than by lecturing others. When a visiting monk asked him if he should assume a role of authority over the brothers he was living with, Abba Poman responded by saying, No, be their example, not their legislator. Judgment of others was also foreign to his nature. He once stated that, A man may seem to be silent, but if his heart is condemning others, he is babbling incessantly. Modern writers credit Abba Poman's gift of memory for keeping alive many of the stories from the Apothemata Patrum. Many of those stories are recollections of Abba Poman from his time with the monks in Cetus. A later Coptic writer, Zacharias of Saka, believed that Abba Poman was also a writer, leading to speculation that he might have been one of the authors of the Apothemata Patrum. Some scholars consider the Abba Poman of the Apothemata Patrum to be merely a generic desert Abba, while others credit Poman and his group with collecting the many sayings that became the Apothemata Patrum. Wilhelm Busset and William Harmless both treat Poman as a historical figure. Topic. Selected sayings of Abba Poman Abba Poman is the most often quoted Abba in the Apothemata Patrum. Nearly a quarter of the sayings are by or about Poman, which led some scholars to think that sayings from different Abbas were collected under the generic name, Abba Shepherd. Abba Poman is also featured prominently in another collection of Desert Father sayings, the Ethiopic Collectio Monastica. He was notable for his kindness and compassion toward his fellow monks, including those who had fallen from the high ideals of the Desert Fathers. He was frequently sought out by his brothers for his wise and compassionate guidance. Many of our fathers have become very courageous in asceticism, but in fineness of perception there are very few. In response to a brother monk who chided Poman for washing his feet, he said, We have not been taught to kill our bodies, but to kill our passions. Many of Poman's sayings included sets of three, such as a list of three, "...instruments for the work of the soul", to throw yourself before God, not to measure your progress, to leave behind all self-will. References <references> <references>